This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is just about 6.53. Time to get you ready for your weekend with the Morning Sprint. Yeah, more COVID vaccine appointments are available in Spokane. Olivia Roberts tells us how you can get your name on the list. But first, Mark Peterson with some warm temperatures and sunny skies for your Friday. I think this is going to be great news for everybody, no matter what they like to do. On our first alert weather, again, we're going to have sunshine today. There's going to be a few high thin clouds. 49 at noon. Our high today is going to be 52, so everyone can enjoy after school and after work. All right, so we're springing forward. Clearly, that's going to happen uh, tomorrow night or Sunday morning at 2 a.m. Um, change your clocks, smoke detector batteries, and if you think about it, those furnace filters, this would all be a good to-do list for you this weekend. Breaking news this morning, a heavy police presence in Spokane Valley. According to the Spokane County Sheriff's Office, a person is in the hospital with head injury. They tell us a group of friends met up at the Perrine Court Apartments at Perrine and Mansfield sometime after midnight. There was an altercation and someone fired a gun. Two people are in custody. The Sheriff's Office says there is no danger to the public. And more breaking news this morning. Two people were hurt in this uh, DUI rollover crash on Sunset Hill on I-90 early this morning. Washington State Patrol says 35-year-old Stephen Lassiter was driving on the interstate westbound when the car rolled onto the right shoulder. Lassiter and his passenger, 34-year-old Alex Jones, were both hurt and taken to the hospital. Lassiter is charged with vehicular assault. Two right lanes on westbound I-90 were blocked while WSP detectives investigate the crash. Drivers are asked to use caution in that area. If you are eligible and are still looking for a vaccine appointment in Spokane, you have a chance to book one right now. Chaz Health and Gonzaga are teaming up again next week to host another mass vaccination clinic. It'll be held on Monday, March 15th, and then again on Tuesday at the Rudolph Fitness Center on GU's campus. And like before, appointments must be made online in advance. Now to do that, visit Chaz Health's website. From there, scroll down to schedule a visit, and your list of appointment times for Monday and Tuesday will pop up. The clinic is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and you'll have to register with Chaz if you aren't already a patient there. If you don't use computer, you can call 509-434-0293 today during those hours. All adult Americans will be eligible to get a vaccine no later than May 1. President Biden delivered the first primetime address of his presidency on the one-year anniversary of the coronavirus pandemic. As you just heard, he announced every American adult will be eligible to reserve their place in line for a vaccine by May. Just a few hours earlier, Washington Governor Jay Inslee made a big announcement of his own, revealing the path forward into phase three of reopening. That goes for the entire state and goes into effect just 10 days from now on March 22nd. For professional and youth sports at outdoor venues with permanent seating, 25% capacity will be allowed. And restaurants, gyms, movie theaters, and other indoor spaces can operate at 50% capacity. You can read more about the changes on KXLY.com. Kootenai Health has an update on who is eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. The Idaho Vaccine Advisory Committee voted and now says appointments for next week will be for those over the age of 55 who have a qualifying medical condition and work or live in Idaho. It is also available for all people over the age of 65. The appointments the week of March 22nd will be for anyone who lives or works in Idaho and is 55 or older. Our local firefighters have been learning new ways to train for responding to house fires. One of these trainings is called a fire ground search, and the Spokane Fire Department is doing it a little differently now. In this training, they put on their fire gear, a mask and air bottle for breathing, and a filter over the mask that mimics a low visibility environment. The goal is to search low and search fast for victims in a house fire. These exercises were done in bare concrete buildings for years, but firefighters are now training by searching in a space that's modeled after an actual home. The whole thing is also recorded so firefighters can review their performance and do better each time. To see more of the exercise, including my participation in it, see this story on KXLY.com. Well, the Idaho House of Representatives has approved a measure allowing certain school employees to carry concealed guns at school. The measure would allow the practice regardless of the preferences of individual school boards. Backers said the measure is protected by the Second Amendment and needed in order to protect children, but opponents said the requirements for obtaining an enhanced concealed carry permit are minimal and are not rigorous enough to allow someone to carry a gun around children. Law enforcement agencies and school organizations opposed this legislation. The bill now goes to the Senate. Coming up next on Good Morning America, the pandemic has taken a toll on this tradition for so many kids. 
camps that have lasted for generations are now asking for help. And parents are wondering if planning for camp is even possible this summer. GMA has an update. And we'll be right back with the final check of weather after this.